Hey guys, and welcome to the Command Tower, where we make EDH deck techs. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Today, we're making a Siani and Radiant $25 deck tech. This price does not include lands, and it does include the commanders, and it's according to CCG player. Siani, Eye of the Storm, is a 3 2 with flying. Whenever it attacks, you scry X, where X is the number of attacking creatures with flying. And Radiant, Sarah Archangel, it's a 6 4 with flying. Tap another untapped creature you control with flying. It gains protection from the color of your choice till end of turn. Both these have partner, so they're both going to be our commanders today. The goal get a lot of flying and attack. And Radiant could probably deal enough commander damage to win. So let's just jump into it. First off, we got Ramp. Azorius Key Rune taps for white or blue. If you pay a white and a blue, it becomes a 2 2 bird with flying till end of turn. Commander Sphere, one taps for one man of any color, sacrifice it to draw a card. Zoria's Signet, you pay one and tap it to add white and blue. Dark Seal Ingot, indestructible, taps for one man of any color. Mana Geode, when it enters the battlefield, scry one, taps for one man of any color. Thermine Vessel, it enters the battlefield tapped, taps for two mana different colors. Warden of Evos Isles. 2-2 two, two with flying, creatures with spells with flying you cast, cost one less to cast. Mindstone, taps your colorless, pay one and tap it, sacrifice it, draw a card. Watcher of the Spheres, flying, creature spells with flying you cast, cost one less to cast. Whenever another creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, Watcher of the Spheres gets plus one plus one till end of turn. And Urgolum's Eye, it taps for two colorless. Next up we got flying. Just a bunch of creatures with flying, because that's what the deck wants to do. Jubilant Sky Ponder. 2-2 two, two with flying. Creatures you control have with flying. Have spells your opponent's cast that target this creature. Costs two more to cast. Very Seer. Flying. When it enters the battlefield, you scry two. Cloudfin Raptor. Has flying and evolve. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature has greater power or toughness than this creature. Put a 1-1 counter on this creature. Spike Tail Hatchling. Flying. Sacrifice it, counter target spell unless its controller pays one. Judge is familiar, sacrifice it, counter target insert sorcery spell unless its controller pays one. So, one flying. Cerulean Drake, flying, protection from red, sacrifice it, counter target spell that targets you. Pristine Skywise, flying, whenever you cast a non creature spell, untap it, gains protection from the color of your choice on a turn. Warkite Marauder, flying, whenever it attacks, Target creature defending player controls loses all abilities. It has paced, face tower and toughness. 0 1 till end of turn. See, there's Hawk. Flying. Lifelink. Then we've got flying tokens. These are just ways to get lots of flying out, creatures out consistently. Battle Screech. Create two 1 1 white bird creature tokens with flying. You can flash back. You can tap three unwhite creatures you control. Migratory Root. Create four 1 1 white bird creatures with tokens with flying. It's basic lane psyching for two. Depose. Deploy. Depose says tap target creature draw a card. And deploy says create two 1-1 one, one thopter creature tokens with flying. And you gain one life for each creature control. Fairy formation. Flying. Four mana. Create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token with flying. Draw a card. Sky's cat sovereign. Flying. It gets 1-1 one, one for each other creature you control with flying. You can pay for it, create a 1-1 one, one with flying. Parhelion 2, flying for strike, vigilance. And it's a vehicle. When it attacks, create two 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance that are attacking. And you have to crew 4-4 four, four. it. Amira Angel, flying. Whenever land enters the battle under your control, you may put a 1-1 one, one white bird creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Spectral Procession. Put three one one white spirit token creatures with flying out to the battlefield. Hoofprints of the stag. Whenever you draw a card, put a hoofprint counter on it. Pay three, remove four hoofprint counters from it. Create a four four elemental with flying. And Talaran Sky Summoner. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a two two Drake creature token with flying. Next up, we got Pump It Up. With all these flying, we need to make sure we can deal a lot of damage. So, we're gonna make them bigger. Windstorm Drake, flying, other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus zero. Imperial Ang Eagle, flying, other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus one. Thunderclap Wyvern, flash, flying, 
Other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus one. Favorable winds. Creatures you control with flying get plus one plus one. Dictative Heliod, Flash. Creatures you control get plus two plus two. Safara, Sky's Blade. You may pay a white and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying rather than pay the spell's mana cost. And it has flying and lifelink. And it says other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. Which is a really good card, especially since you can play it for one mana. Giving all your flying's indestructible. It'd be hard to stop you then. Steel Plume Marshal. Flying, whenever it attacks, other attacking creatures you control with flying, get plus two plus two till end of turn. Wingspan Mentor, when it enters battle, you put a flying counter on target, non-human creature you control. Pay three, tap it, put a one-one counter on each creature you control the flying. Zorius Charm, choose one, creatures you control gain lifelink till end of turn, draw a card, or put target attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's island. Library. The first option is probably the best one here, giving all your creatures lifelink, dealing a lot of damage with flying, just gain a lot of life. Then we got flying to victory. These are other ways that you can win the game. Approach the second sun. If approach the second sun was cast from your hand, and you've cast another spell named approach the second sun this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put it into its owner's library, set from the top, and you gain some life. So basically, you have to cast a spell twice to win the game. But after you cast the first time, go seven from the top. Now, with our one commander, we can scry it right to the top if we attack with enough, enough creatures. So it should be relatively easy to, to win that. Shriek Raptor, flying, in fact, it's a 2-3. But with all the stuff that can make flying creatures bigger, it could be relatively easy to win the game with this. And treat the angels... Create X, 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying. But it also has a miracle for X and 2 white. You can cast this card for its miracle cost when you draw it, if it's the first card you drew this turn. So basically, you could scry it to the top with your 1 commander, so that you're ready to play it for its miracle, miracle cost, then get a ton of 4-4s four with flying. Then we got card draw. Dream Trawler, flying lifelink, whenever you draw a card, it gets plus 1 plus 0 to the turn. When it attacks, you draw a card. You can discard a card, it gains hexproof till on a turn, tap it. Loyal Drake, flying, has lieutenant at the beginning of your combat on your turn. If you control your commander, draw a card. And with two commanders, you should be able to draw a card. Asperia, Supreme Judge, flying, whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. Reconnaissance Mission, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card, and it has cycling. Probably one of the best cards in the deck. It'll draw you a whole lot of cards, because I don't think people will be able to block most of these. Sphinx of Magosi, flying, pay 3, draw a card, then put a 1-1 counter on it. Spectral Sailor, flash, flying, pay 4 mana, draw a card. Sturmgeist, flying, its power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your hand, and when it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Wind Reader Sphinx, flying, whenever a creature with flying attacks, you can draw a card. This counts other creatures, out of other players' creatures too, so you'll get a lot of cards from that. Tide Skimmer, flying. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, the flying, draw a card. And Winged Words, it costs one less to cast. If you control a creature with flying, then you get to draw two cards. Then we got Removal. Negate, counter target non creature spell. Cancel, counter, counter target spell. Gust of Wind, it costs two less to cast if you control a creature with flying. Turn target non-land permanent you don't control. Turn stone his hand and draw a card. Stolen by the Fey. Turn target creature with a converted mana X to stone his hand. You create X one one blue fairy creature tokens with flying. Pacifism. Chain creature. Chain creature can't attack or block. The isolation zone. When enters the battlefield, the exile target creature and shaman opponent controls till it leaves the battlefield. Hand executioner. Flying. When enters the battlefield, you create a one one white spirit creature with token with flying. Pay for exile it, exile target creature. Time wipe, return a creature you control to his artist's hand, then destroy all creatures. Chroma's Vengeance, destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments, cycling for three. Divine Reckoning, each player chooses a creature they control, then destroy the rest. That is flashback for seven. Lastly, we've got lands. Azorius Guildgate, enters battlefield tapped, taps for white or blue, and Meandering River does the exact same thing. Tranquil Clove, and Sahiri Refuge do the same thing, but when they enter the battlefield, you gain one life. 
Command Tower. Add one minute of any color in your commander's color identity. Devolving Vials. Sacrifice it and tap it. Search your library for a basic land card. Put on spell if it's tapped. Shuffle your library. Then we got 17 planes and 14 islands. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.